Hello, um, today we're going to look at how to replicate certain tasks in Primavera P6 in Microsoft Project. So this series will be titled Microsoft Project for Primavera P6 users. Um, for the first video, we're going to look at how to display activity IDs in Microsoft Project. By default, Microsoft Project shows line numbers. Um, while by default P6 shows activity IDs, which are unique alphanumeric um, um, IDs. In while the line numbers are unique, they are not assigned to any particular activity. So I can demonstrate that by showing you if I add three new activities: A, A, B, B, C, C. So these three activities have um, line numbers 31, 32, and 33. So if I move CC up by two places, it becomes line number 31. Um, that's not what you want. You want a you want a permanent number. You want a fixed number attached to any activity you have or task, as they call it in Microsoft Project. So if I delete this. See, that wouldn't have happened in Primavera P6, so activity ID belongs to a, an activity and always remains with the activity. Um, just to make a point clear, Primavera P6 also comes with line numbers, even though most people don't use them, but if you want them, you can easily display line numbers. So how do we get activity IDs, unique alphanumeric activity IDs in Microsoft Project. By default, Microsoft Project comes with a unique ID field, which you can add here, go to insert column, unique ID. As you can see, we've got a unique ID field, but you'll notice that they are numeric sequential so while in p6 you can the the ids are user generated here it's the system is system generated so it's auto numbered you can't change them well technically you can't change the numbering so it's increases by one but you can mimic an alphanumeric um, activity id by using custom fields that's one of the beauty of um, microsoft project allows you to come up with workarounds so for this we we'll use a text field so if i go for text one custom field so what i need to do now is to format this custom field go to format custom field rename it activity id um, i need a formula to make this unique make unique ids alphanumeric so i click on the formula button and what i'm going to do is to attach append a prefix to the unique id and in this case i'm going to go with this sample p6 schedule mn dash as a prefix that i attach that are append to my unique IDs. But if you want, if you want more complex um, prefixes, so like for engineering activity, you want to assign EN or ENG for procurement activity, you want to assign PR or PRO for milestones, you want to append ML or MIL, you can do that and you can use uh, the if function To do this function, combine them with either outline codes or other custom fields to do it. If you, for this story, I'm going to keep it simple. Just one set of prefix to append it to the unique ID field. But if you want a more complex one, you can get in touch with me, and we can discuss how I can help you with that. So for this, I just want to append mn dash. 
So mn because put them in in quotes in strings and use the ampersand symbol to represent concatenating. And then what I need is a unique ID field. Just go ID unique ID. Click OK. Now this is Microsoft Project prompting you that all values existing in the field will be deleted. Yeah, this is a new field we just created, so I'm happy with that. Say OK. You notice I've not used formula for summary rules because I don't want my summary activities to have activity ID. In P6, they don't. Uh, Microsoft is one of the quirks of Microsoft projects with summary rules treated as activity. So we don't want that. So I'll click OK. And you can see activity IDs are displayed. So that's quick and simple. That's how you can display activity IDs in your Microsoft Project Shadow. I can hide this column now. Now that I've got activity ID column, I don't need these line numbers anymore. So I can hide it. Um, go to View, Tables, More Tables, Edit, um, Delete this. Say okay. You notice that um, my activity ID column is locked, it's grayed out because it's locked. So I don't want that. So I go back, edit, I uncheck, I untick this checkbox lock first column. Now activity ID column is displayed the way I want it. So that's it. I'll save this layout, this view. Layouts are called views in Microsoft Project. I'll save this view. So that way we can use, um, I can use this schedule for the next tutorial. Thank you and see you in a few days time. Mm -hmm.